I am Zeme Zone, this is Gamers Oasis. Let's get into it. All right, we're going to do another patron video. This time, uh, the video is going to be on uh, Explorer Scout type of stuff. The, not the actual official Explorers, but people that could become that. Um, this is um, sort of the dexterity focused role that one would experience with um, characters that are designed to be agile. Um, so again, I'm going to kind of use this as a place to farm to get uh, characters that could become henchmen or whatever. These are going to fill um, uh, dexterity based needs, um, for example, like scouts, thieves, these type of things that the party might run into. And then, um, you know, this would be a great way to draw henchmen that the party has run into in the past or during a game um, that could be that way. So we're going to do the same things we did before. Let me go ahead and switch what I was doing so we can see this. Okay, as you can see here, I've got my uh, stats here again. Um, we're going to do the same thing where we have a D8 for uh, what type of character it is. And then we're going to have a um, D6 for uh, what gender it is. And then we'll do 2D6 for dexterity. So the first stat I'm going to roll is dexterity. Then I'll roll all three of these together to determine uh, its strength and then we'll go that way. So we're going to start with dex and then move on. Uh, just for the simplicity of rolling dice though. So here's for the first roll. Uh, 2d6 plus 6 for dexterity and we'll figure out the gender with the uh, blue dice and the d8 will be what uh, race it is. We have five different types of humans and we have um, um, five different types of demi-humans, but I'll get into that as we go. All right, so I rolled an eight. That's going to make this a desert. Uh, one is going to be a uh, female. All right, I have a nine plus six. It's going to be 15 for dexterity. We're going to come over here for 3d6. Uh, really extremely strong. That is awesome. We have a 17 strength. Uh, we have a nine intellect and we have a 15 uh, wisdom very unusual character so the primary stat for an explorer also would be con so we're going to be going dex con for figuring out higher quality of pay and of course the humans are going to just be better um, because of that so there's no bonus for that having a 16 charisma does help there is no negative charisma mod right though so we have a nine here again all right and that's the first character and i'm just going to kind of get through this hopefully fast and we'll get these 20 uh, npcs rolled up okay so again we have a female this time it's a three that's going to be an a human and then we have a uh, 15 dexterity again Oops, not 25. So we have uh, 10. Oh my goodness. And low uh, intelligence. Decent wisdom. Okay, well we have an incredibly high uh, 17 for uh, stamina. So with a 15 dexterity and a 17 con, that is going to be one level higher. And then with charisma, we have an eight. So two is going to be an A human, uh, female again. We have a nine for dexterity. So even with this plus six, it is possible to have a low stat, which I, I'm glad because that uh, shows the full breadth of these type of things. Um, so we have a 10. This character stats are pretty low in general. So it's going to be an 11. So we have a 13. Interesting. We have a 15 charisma. So 
So this is a seven. That's going to be an Islander. It's going to be a male. Uh, dexterity is going to be a um, 10. And then we will have a 9. We will have a 13. Now eventually I probably will blow the dice off of this thing. Because that's how these things work in general. Uh, we just haven't really had that incredible roll yet. I mean, we have had a 17 con. That's pretty awesome. Um, but we can do better. All right, it's going to be a female. Um, number three. That is an A-type human. Nope. Ten dexterity. We have an eight strength. Come on. So that's going to be a 12. Oof, we have an 18 wisdom. This is a character who probably will not remain in the scout realm of things. That's a 11. I don't know if it's going to ever be a cleric, because not what I want to do. It's a straight nine. But I could see it doing something else. Uh, okay, we have our first demi human. Um, we're going to end up with a 17 dexterity, and it's going to be a male. Now let's find out what this is. That's a five. So five, and the demi human is a halfling. We have a 13 strength. That's not bad. I like this. Ooh, interesting. A 16. A 9. A 6. Wow, and a 4. Okay, well, that's in. See, you, if you had a character like that you I don't know what you would do with that I mean I think you that's probably about the quintessential guy with a bow in my opinion stay alive all right next one is uh, going to be a male it's a black human so male that's what I do oh, I did it right no nope. Right, and then we're going to have a nine, and we're going to have an eleven, and we have a five, we have a fourteen, and then we have an eleven again. Then we have a 10, and we have our next character. Now, demi human. Uh, it's going to be a female. Eight is a mountain dwarf. Need to create a space here. One of the rare elusive mountain dwarves. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so we have an 11. All right, we have a 14. Eight. We have a 10. The big roll. 
Okay, that's nice. We have a 14. And we have a 6. Very interesting. Okay, so we have an A-type human male. Their strength is a, or the dexterity is a 15. Here's a 10. Here is a 4. Here is an 11. We have an 8. We have a 13. That could have been so much better. All right, we have a male number six, which is going to be black again. And then we have a 13. Wow, okay, here we go. So we have a male A-type. And we have an 18. 18 dexterity. First one of those, we have a decent strength with a 15. Lower intelligence, I almost said moderate, but that's not even moderate. And we have a 12, that's moderate. And here's where I need the big con. That's big con. That is a 16. Only thing, there's only two steps. Oh, well, there could be three. Let's see what his charisma is. Okay, yeah, we came very close to reaching the third one, actually. So this 13 makes it very close. If the 13 would have been a 16, there's only two steps that could have made it better, an 18 con and uh, being a demi-human. So that is a very good character. Definitely the best one so far. All right, we have a male uh, Islander, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. With a 13 dexterity. A 16 strength, a 14 intellect, okay, a 14 uh, wisdom, bum, bum, bum. and a 13. That's actually a really good character even though the con's a little unfortunate we have a male uh, in type human it's our first one that's good area it's uh, like uh, 25 percent of the dice rolls that's kind of crazy Okay, so that's going to be an 11, no, 12. We have a 14. We have a 13. 14. That's a 16, nice. Too bad the dex wasn't just a little higher. 
All right, that is a 13. Again, not a bad character. All right, we have a desert. This is a female. And then we have a 14 dexterity. We have a 10. We have a 15. We have a 14. No, I have a nine. I don't know why I'm saying 14. We have a 13. So we have a, a, a bonus there, nice. All right, we have an 11. All right, we have a demi-human. This is gonna be a male. Eight for another mountain dwarf. Very, oh, oh, so I got two. I did that backwards. Did I burn it? I was so excited to put down M Class Dwarf that I did it completely wrong. Oh, we'll have a good chuckle at that later. 16 for the dexterity. Very nice. Uh, 10 for strength, so you know, it's the reason why he's probably a scout. 8. Wow, okay. Well. No, that's terrible. With our 4 constitution. Not representing the dwarves well. Alright, so this would be a female A type. Maybe a 14. We have a 17 strength. Interesting. We have a 12. Very nice. We have a 13. We have an 11. It's not bad. Hmm. All right, we have a 5, which is going to be an N type male. We're looking at a 9, 15. Have an eleven. That's a fat fingered mistake. Seven. Fifteen. Fourteen. Oh, right, we got a bonus there. That's good. So we got a fourteen. All right, we have an A-type human female. We have, I don't know why I masked hard this morning. We have 15. Seven. 
Here's our 19th character. All right, this would be an Islander female. Um, 11. We have a 10. Nine. Oof. Four. Twelve. We have a ten. Here's our last one. Come on, demi humans. I want more. Ah. No, no demi human. It's a Male A type with a twelve dexterity. We have a ten. I don't know if that's seeable. Move over here where I can see it better. All right, we have a thirteen. We have five. We have a fourteen and we have a twelve. Okay, guys, so this one here I uh I have uh, rolled up a, a total of twenty different scout types. I don't have a plan for any of these specifically but I wanted to be able to introduce um, the second half of what I'm considering common characters for the party. So, okay guys, so uh, this is editor zone coming back in here. I've changed my setup a lot over here where you can see things are a little bit different. I've actually moved my whole setup so it's a different thing. Um, a lot of changes have occurred. Um, one of the things I noticed when I was editing this video is I did not do the pay and I wanted to go ahead and do that modifier real quickly. Uh, bonuses we have is plus one of course for Demi Human, 16 Charisma obviously. And then we have the basically the same thing for High Dexterity and Con. Um, so this character here is a human with a low Con and a low Charisma so that's just going to be a one. And I gotta figure out how I'm gonna type all this as I go. I got stuff in my way. All right, so next one here has a high con, high dexterity, um, not above a 16 dexterity, unfortunately. So that's just gonna be a two because the charisma's not there. You have a 13 uh, con, but not enough for uh, charisma or for dexterity. So that's just gonna be a very high one per se. Same thing here, we're gonna have a one. Uh, here we have mediocre stats again. We have one, we're gonna have a two in base here because it's a halfling and none of the other stats cooperate, so that's gonna be that. Uh, again, looking at one, this is a bunch of mediocrely paid people at first. Uh, dexterity is not high enough for a bonus. Con is, but not, uh, this is actually a Demi human. So yeah, we are right into a not great start, shall we say. Oh, but here we have, nope, we only have, nope, just the one. Not quite. I was looking at the dexterity and the charisma instead of the con. So again, looking at pretty low stuff. All right, we have an 18 dexterity. We have a 16 con, so there's plus two. So it's going to be a three. Uh, we have a one. I just would not think this would be such a problem. But it is in this time. Oh, we have a two for high dex and high con. Dwarf. Uh, almost could be a one. But the only parts I get negatives to are for uh, constitution, and that still caps at one. 
All right, so here we don't have any of the requirements. It would be a negative, but we are capped at one. We have a two in this one. One in this one, one in this one. Goodness, so close. Rare characters for the party to be able to obtain, in my opinion, should be clergy, cleric types, and uh, magic user. They just should be more rare than thief types and, you know, rangers and those type of things. I and mean, rangers can be pretty rare too. But you get the general idea. Um, so what I've done is I've created a list of 20 to pull from. If I ever need to pull henchmen uh, for like a wanted or whatever, like I need more people, this would be a group I can pull from. I have my porters, which is a um, physical one as well. It's a strength wise. So we have our dexterity one. We have our uh, strength one. Um, these would be used for scouting guides, this type of stuff. So there is a reason for them to be in the universe uh, or the world anyways. Um, I'm not going to do one for intelligence or wisdom uh, just because I have enough high wisdom, high intelligent characters to pull from to fill those roles without specifically making 20 characters with a high wisdom or high intelligence. So the sages and clerics and those type of things will come from these lists, even though they were first rolled up on the porter and scout role, or maybe the torchbearer role, because that just will happen. Um, the, I want the more of the physical side of things. Uh, my next list I'm actually going to be rolling up on, though, is going to be something very similar to Torchbearers. It's just going to be a captives list. Um, and I'm going to make it slightly more common for um, uh, demi-humans to be rolled by changing it from a D8 to a D10 and putting in a couple more pips in there for a couple more things because there's some things that are going to be less common to be found as captives and there will be other things that will be uh, more commonly found i guess you could say less common more common you get the general idea anyway so that's what we're looking at okay guys so if you like this video and you want to see more about this go ahead and let me know in the comments down below uh, let me know if this type of thing uh, is something you enjoy seeing i do have the captives coming up next uh, the restocking of these videos if you want to see that or if you just want me to leave that on patreon as it's kind of the sausage being made um, i plan to update these lists every quarter not real life quarter but in game quarter and the reason why i plan to do that is this is going to be sort of like my campaign history so as i go back through this i'm not going to re-update this list i'm going to go and use the ones that are there and then if i have to fill more holes in the future then i can so every quarter is going to be like a little bit of like a save point where the campaign is going to be kind of detailed and that type of thing uh for replaying the same events type of thing or the same type of scenario so that a character could see like if i have a particular war they can see multiple sides of that war at the same um player but different characters if that makes sense anyways just thoughts being spit out there have a good day and keep rolling those dice bye